Hi there, this is Nathan Wrigley from pictureandword.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at using this plugin, which is uh, WP Types' toolset plugin, um, alongside the Beaver Builder Page Builder plugin, um, alongside, perhaps I might use the Beaver Add-ins uh, plugin, and the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder plugin. And the, the intention of this video is to create some custom content types for WordPress, uh, insert some fields into those custom content types, and then use tool sets, templating uh, facility to enable us to use the Beaver Builder page builder in order to create those page templates. It sounds a little bit complicated. It's not at all complicated. Uh, if you click on any links below, there is a chance that some of them are affiliate links. So if you would like to get me a coffee or something, then please feel free to click those links. If not, then you can see all the URLs are here and here and here and here. If you would like to just go and uh, purchase them for yourself. The site that we're going to be using is just here. and. I have simply created um, no content at all. I've got a, a vanilla install of WordPress. As you can see, if we just look into the pages section, there's a basic sample page here. Um, it's an absolutely vanilla install, except for the fact that I have installed uh, the plugins that I've just been mentioning. Apart from that, nothing has been uh, fiddled with in any way. So I've got the agency version of Beaver Builder, the Power Pack, the tool set, uh, which includes, in my case, uh, types and views. I haven't really uh, any use for the other tool set suite products, so I haven't installed those. And then finally, ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. I don't know if I'll use either this or the Power Pack, but they're installed should I get the urge later on. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to create a content type, a custom post type, should I say. Um, and the way that we do that in Toolset is we go to the Toolset dashboard. Okay. And once that has loaded, it asks us straight away, do you want to create a new custom post type? And in our case, yes, we do. Now I'm going to be filling this custom post type up with nonsense, um, nothing of any great use. The principle is just to show you what you can do and then hopefully you'll run with it and come up with much more creative ways of uh, you know, using it than I'm about to show you. So I'm going to create a custom post type which I'm going to call uh, widgets and then in the singular uh, widget I'm going to leave the slug the same. Now this little icon here is going to be the icon that appears next to the word widgets when it appears here. So rather than using this little pin, which has already been used for posts, I'm going to find something else, uh, something which I've not used before. Let's go for megaphone. There we go. That's done. I'm not going to associate it with categories, tags or anything like that. In fact, I'm just going to leave everything as it is and save it. Um, you get this little dialog box here saying it's being saved, etc., etc. Okay, and now you can see that we have a widget content type just right here in the menu, which means that should we wish to, we can add new widget items and new, uh, sorry, and new widget items. However, if we were to click into there, we would notice um, that basically there's nothing customized about it. It's the most boring type of normal post type that you could imagine. So just like any other post type, all it's got is the the section here where you can put the title of the post and the section here where you've got your WYSIWYG editor and you can add um, you know, text and what have you down there. So not much uh, has changed. So we will go into Toolset and we will add um, some fields and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to uh, post fields. Now what this does is it allows us to create collections of fields which we group together um, and then we can connect it to a particular custom post type. Okay so uh, I'm going to add a new group and being the sort of methodical chap that I am I'm going to give it a very ordinary name so that I can identify it later. So in this case I'm going to enter the group name and I'm going to call it uh, widget uh, field, whoops, F-I-E-L-D, field group. And that just allows me later on to know exactly what it is. Now, I need to 
insert the kind of fields that I'd like and WP types comes with all of these. So you've got color pickers, embedded media files, images, audio, phone numbers. This is an odd one, Skype seems to be um, that that should be much more, I don't know, Facebook Messenger or uh, Google Hangouts as well. But anyway, they've gone for Skype. So I'm gonna pick single line. So what that'll do is it will give me, when I enter content into the custom post type, it will give me a single line. So I'm going to call this, what did I decide upon? I'm just going to call this widget name. Okay, and the slug widget name, absolutely fine. I'm gonna leave everything else as the default, but you can fiddle with this to your heart's content. It's things like a description of what that should be, a placeholder so that the value is already pre-filled, a default value if you would like um, it to already have a value before you uh, get to that field. Whether it's required or is, requires validation, I don't need any of that. So my new field is going to be, um, I'm just gonna put in a number field you'll see later that I'm not really going to do anything particularly useful with these, but I'm just going to call it widget number um, and I'm going to click add a new field. The next one is I'm going to put in a, uh, what did I decide? I think I decided I was going to put in an image. So there we go. We'll put in an image. Okay. And I'll call this widget image and leave everything just as it is. And I'm done. I could add some more fields if I wanted. I could add as many as I liked, but I don't wish to. What I do wish to do, though, is scroll back up to the top and click Save Field Group, and it will save the changes. It will take a few seconds to do that. And then when it comes back, I should have the option to decide upon which custom post types I would like this to appear. So if I click the little Edit button just here, it says, okay, do you want these wid <clears throat> excuse me, these widget fields to appear in the media, the pages, or the posts, or the new widget custom post type? And I only want them to appear here with widgets. So I'm going to click apply, and then don't forget to click save one more time. Okay, so it's gonna save all those changes. Great. Now then, what I will do next then is I'll open up a, a new post. So I will start a new post. Uh, so add new post there. But also alongside of it, I will add a new widget as well, a new widget section. Now you can see that this is a custom post type. Um, and it's just got the area to insert the title just here and the area the body, if you like, the um, the WYSIWYG, okay? Now, however, if I go to open a new widget custom post type section, if everything has behaved correctly, we should be able to see uh, the options to insert the fields that we decided we needed earlier. Here's our custom post type fields, the metadata. Okay, so, Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a very boring title. I'm gonna call this widget number one. Uh, I've got a bit of lorem over here, so I'm gonna take the lorem and just insert it. Where are we? Copy pasty from there, there we go. Oh, no, not there. Put it in here instead. Come on. Oh, now there's a thing. The WYSIWYG editor has failed to load. That's interesting. Well, I've never had that before. I'm gonna pause the video, figure out what's going on, and then come back to you. Well, hello, welcome back. That took about 15 minutes, and I don't really know that I got to the bottom of it, but I had an outdated version of the Toolset Views plugin. I had 2.2, version 2.2, and I updated it to version 2.2.1, and all seems to be good again, in that I now have the WYSIWYG editor enabled, and we're good to go. So let's carry on where we were. So I was going to give these very banal and boring titles. So this is widget one, and I'm going to paste in some lorem text like that. Um, this is the widget name, so I'm going to call this, um, oh, I don't know, widget one. No, let's give it a different title. Uh, let's call it name one. The, the point of this is that you just 
you can spot that when I change the content over later, it will update the content in the template. So bear with me, it's going to be a little bit boring. For a moment, um, I'm going to select some images to upload. Let's see if we can find a few images on my hard drive, which will be uh, useful to us. Click, click, there we go, great. Okay, let's go to my little to delete file here and we've got four little images sort of ready to go. Let's open those and is it going to upload them? Possibly yes, possibly no. Well, no, maybe I pressed it twice. It looks like I did. Let's try again, open. There we go. Okay, so it's uploading those images and I'm going to select the first one that comes along. Um, they look like they're quite large. I got them from Unsplash, by the way, which is a great place to source your images. So I'll pick that one, uh, select it, and there it is. Okay, so now we have um, a piece of content of the widget custom post type. It's got some text, it's got um, and three extra fields down here. Okie dokie. So I'm going to publish that. Now I'm going to create four more pieces of, or three more pieces of content, very similar, um, accepting that they'll have different titles and different images and numbers in the number fields and so on. So I'll pause the video again and I will come back to you in just a moment. Okay, so I now have four pieces of content um, created, uh, custom post type widget one, widget two, widget three, and I was getting bored so I started to get silly. <coughs> excuse me, widget for good lord. Now, what we need to do in order to make these appear in the Beaver Builder is go back to our toolset dashboard and you'll notice over here if you have uh, WP toolset types and views installed, you have this option here to create a template for the content type, uh, for the custom post type widgets. So here we go, I'm gonna create a template and if everything works according to plan, we should have a Beaver Builder button just about there. Come on. Come on. Oh, no we don't, because we have a video getting in the way. There it is. Okay, great. So what this is basically saying is we can design the way to look at the custom post type using the fantastical beaver builder page builder so that's what we're going to do we're going to get the beaver builder going we're going to launch it with this button oh by the way we should have widgets checked just to make sure that we are in fact creating the template for the widgets custom post type so we're all good i don't know what that little error means there bind one widget that will be something for me to explore another day so here we are. Now then, we have the page builder. I don't know if you've seen this before, but uh, hopefully you have if you're watching Beaver Builder uh, videos. What I'm going to do is get rid of this little modal box that pops up every time you use the, uh, the Beaver Builder for the very first time. It says, do you want a tutorial or do you want a little walkthrough? I'm going to say no. I'm going to choose one of these templates. Let's go for something which, let's go for that one. Let's use it, let's let it load. Ooh, that is quite a big header area, isn't it? I might change that. Um, shall I stick with that? Shall I go with that? Do you know what? Let's get rid of that row. No, let's see if we can find a better one or one that's Let's try the moon landing. Let's go for that. Replace existing layout, yes. Obliviate all of the other stuff. Okay, it really is okay. Let's get rid of it. Here it comes, yay! Right, great. Okay, so now we've got um, one of these super duper uh, sections from uh, Beaver Builder. And you can see that there's an extra section in here if you've got tool set installed and it says in preview with and here are my um, custom post type posts. So in a minute we'll use that, but for now, what we're gonna do is go into one of these sections and click the, the cog icon so that we can uh, 
amend things and adjust things. And what we're going to do is we're going to expand that a little bit. I might just make that big, super big. Okie dokie, we're going to go in here, delete it. Let us use fields and views. Okay, and instead of using the text that was there, we're going to use the post title. Okay, so what that's saying is use the post title from our widgets custom post type and insert, insert a short code uh, here to display that title instead of the, the title that was there just moments ago. So there it is. And at the moment, it is a short code because we haven't selected one of these. And there you go. Look at that. If we were looking at the custom post type widget one, we would get the title. And if we were looking at widget two, we would get, wait for it, yes, all in capitals. And if we were looking at the fourth one, good lord we'd get the fourth one. This is revolutionary. Okay, let's um, fiddle some more. Let's go in here, edit with the little cog or spanner or wrench or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you live in the world. And let's get rid of this nonsense here. And let's make a little space for it. And into here, let's click. Let's make it our body text now where is it where is the there it is post body that one haha -ha. brilliant now we'll get the lorem ipsum insert insert the short code there it is perfect save it got a little short code and there's the lorem ipsum text so if we go to number two we should have a different selection of text. yeah it's got shorter all i did there was make it shorter and if I did number three, different again. Yes, remarkable. Okay, now then, we could do this all day. What's this over here? Let's see if we can change the image somehow. I don't know how this image has been assigned. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to change that. Could try. Ooh, let's try this. I don't think this is going to work. But if you click in here, notice the little plus icon. No, it won't work. That won't work. Let's cancel that. I was hoping to be able to import a short code, um, but I don't think that's going to work because it either wants a URL, a direct URL, or the media library link. So what I'll do is I'll just insert it um, down here instead. So, okay, let's edit this cog. Let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't want at the bottom. So we'll get rid of all this. We only have a limited whatever. Get rid of that. OK, save it. Great. And let's get rid of these sections. I don't want these. Yes, I am sure. I honestly am. I'm also sure. I should prevent from dialogue here, but I I like to leave that on in case I'm actually not sure, which happens quite a lot. So let's get rid of that. OK, now let's see if this will work. I'm going to add content. I'm going to stick with basic modules and I'm going to put a photo in. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. We shall try. I think this might be using exactly the same uh, media library. OK, that's not going to work. So we'll do it the old fashioned boring way. If you've got a better idea of how to do this, this would be really interesting. I'd be keen to know. But we can do it this way. Let's insert the image into the text editor. Uh, first of all, let's insert the widget name. Now you have to be careful at this point not to click save because we are waiting for this um, to come up. And I have so many times just clicked save and the little short code has not been copied in like that. And as a result, the stuff that I wanted never actually appeared. OK, let's put widget number in again. Wait, count to three, be patient and insert it. 
and wait. Don't be don't be hasty. And then finally, let's see if we can get an image to come in. Come on, widget image. We'll get options for sizing it and so on. I'll just put, uh, I'll do the, well, the, no, not the original image because they're huge. Let's go for 300 pixels wide and insert it. Wait <laughs> and save it and pray. Hurrah, look at that. Okay, go to widget one. Hurrah! Go to widget two. Hey! Go to widget three. And go to widget four. Brilliant! Now we seem to have little um, bits here where it's got the the section here, the little widget number part at the beginning. I'm not quite sure what that is. I might explore that. Let's just have a little a little quick look. I expect that I have when I was inserting that shortcode there was an option to disable the, the sort of the, the preamble to that field if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's cracking. So I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna click publish changes and I don't know where this is going to take me. I think probably back. Yes, hurrah, to the fields. Editor, edit content template. Okay, great, right, I think that's all done. Right, what I wanna do now is then go to, um, open up in a new tab. Let's go and have a look at some of these pieces of content on the front end. And if everything has worked according to plan, we should have that kind of moon thing going on okay with each of these pieces of content if that doesn't happen this video was rubbish and you should um, probably write terrible things underneath the YouTube uh, area you know because I would deserve it okay let's open them all up in separate tabs and cross fingers I've kind of tried this once it worked they're loading Come on, let's have your fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hooray! Now you can see that I haven't bothered to do basic things like remove sidebars and things like that. But look, there is our widget one piece of content. There it is. We've got the title in here. We've got the, the text. We've got the name. We've got the widget number and so on. Dreadful text dreadful but look it works it absolutely works and it's just such a fun and simple way of creating lovely displays now obviously if you have half a brain you'll be able to design templates for your custom post types that are so much nicer than I've just done but the point is you can with WP types tool set suite of tools you can create fields link them to a custom post type then you can use the beaver builder page builder to create templates so that they look fantastic when somebody views them on the front end and that's the point well i hope you've enjoyed this i hope it's been useful um, if you have enjoyed this video then please send me a million pounds or dollars you know i don't mind um, if you haven't enjoyed the video, I'm awfully sorry for wasting your time, but in all seriousness, you should have. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.